Hi there, this is Maria and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a video to share how I created this beautiful waterfall, waterfall card using the Close to My Heart Waterfall Thin Cuts. And without any further ado, let's get started. I just want to show you how this going to work okay we are going to create a A2 size card and the and the, the card is five and a half five and a half by eight and a half fold that in half The first layer is five and one quarter by four. We are going to attach this to the card base. My second layer is two and a half by five and one quarter. This is gonna be your second layer, but we what what I would like to do before we attach the second layer to the card, I I stamped Merry Christmas. And what I try to do here, before I stamped, I, I try to make sure the orientation of my paper will be the same because I did not want to cover this beautiful background. So I decided instead me just stamping on top of the, the, the first layer, I wanted to pop this just to give just a little bit more interest on the card. I don't know if you can see that in here. These are popped. But like I said, I did not want to cover the background because I just love this wood look on the back. So I popped this and I popped that. So, um, so you stamp it in here and then cut. What I think, what I think I cut this uh, one inch I think that's what it is. One inch and three and three quarters. Yep. Okay. So what I would like to do is I would like to attach this first in here because the second layer will go right under. So let's just pop this first. Oh, let me just move this. I think this one got a little bit long in here. So like I said, I would like to uh, make sure all these lines up with the other paper, okay? So Ok, 
Okay, see it's a little bit pop. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up, but in real life it does make a difference. It's just giving you a little bit more interest than just a flat surface. And now we are going to attach the second layer in here. I think this one is empty. Okay, let me just get this one then. Okay. Oh, and before I, I do this, I did use black ink in the edges of this paper. Only this one. I did not ink anything else except this paper. Okay, and then now we are going to uh, So basically, he's gonna say Merry Christmas from our house to yours. That's why I put pictures in here because this is our house. So Merry Christmas, right? From our house to yours. Now, I am, I'm gonna wait in here a little bit on, or actually, Actually, we can do this, okay? I can just cut this. So whatever I have left in here, half inch. Okay, maybe a little bit less than a half inch. Let's just cut this. All right? That's a half inch. Just a tiny bit less than a half. Let's see if I did this right. Perfect. Mm. Okay, maybe just a tiny bit. I might just gonna have to cut just a tiny bit. And I am going to pop this also. Normally I put the sentiment, the last one, but this time it really doesn't matter. Okay, so we are done with this, okay? <clears throat> now we are going to move on to the thin cuts. So these are the thin cuts, the waterfall thin cuts from close to my heart I use. Okay, these are explained to you how to do it, but I am not going to show you how to use close to my heart thing cuts bef because there's already some excellent tutorials out there how to use these waterfall thing cuts. I will link down below some other videos I find on YouTube created by other close to my heart consultants. I also going to link any items that I share in today's video. Using those links really help me to support me at no extra cost to you, so I really appreciate that. I already cut this out, okay? And then the first things I have to do is the, you already have this this core line, okay? So I'm just going to uh, go back and forth, okay? And then you are going to put adhesive from here, this part, this part. Okay, okay, see that? From here 
to here and then I want you to fold that up. Okay, sorry about that. Now, I cut two different colors, but you can you can use whatever color. You can use four different colors, you can do background texture paper, anything anything you want, okay? Now, the first what I did I'm going to attach this right here. Okay? Right here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay? See? Now my next one, I am going to attach to the first to the first score line. So I am going to put glue on top of right here and attached this right here. Now, what I would like you to do is, that is very important, you do not want this all the way up because you wanna leave, you wanna, you wanna make sure you have enough room to put to go the paper under, so you wanna make sure it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna uh, you can uh, pull this in and out with no problem. So let me just do this. I'm gonna put a So I want you to leave from the first score line about one eighth of an inch gap between the score line. Okay, I'll show you just a minute. Soon I attach this. Okay. See, you can see the little black in here about one, one, of a, one eighth of an inch. Okay, so we have this first. Now you do the same thing with the rest of it. I am just going to rotate the paper. Then again, see I put a little bit closer to the, to the to the score line. This is the score line right here. So I need to uh, put this down just a tiny bit because I want to make sure I leave enough space. Okay, again, see this? When I fold this, you see just a little bit of the black. So this is what we have so far, right? Now, I'm gonna put some uh, pictures. Um, all these, so this one I cut out and all these cuts out all the squares and then I, the, I cut out all the pictures and I did not use this one yet. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start I'm 
just gonna put all glue in here so my second picture So now basically we are all set, right? The only things we have left is this, the left side and the right side. You need to fold that while this thing is closed. You close this, right? And then fold that because this is the one who's what's going to create so you can pull. And I need you to put little glue in here now this has to be a very strong i am actually going to use a score tape but you can use anything you want but make sure it whatever you used make sure it is strong okay i think that's good so Okay, works pretty good, right? Now, before we attach to the card, like here, like now, right, right there, okay? This is the only part you need to put glue. Nowhere else, and I suggest you to do a strong tape also and don't put anywhere else except the, in this little flap oh my god this is like coming apart really. So you do not put any glue in here or here, only on this part. And then you can eyeball it. That's what I did. Okay, now you can just put a ribbon in here or really you can just put something whatever whatever you think you need okay and that's basically it it is very easy card it's only when you're looking at the die you think oh my god this is like what am I gonna do here but basically it's very easy now what I did in here I also added a little ribbon in here because you can you can put this up on the wall or you can actually use this as an ornament, put it on the Christmas tree. So you can tell, you know, your family members in here. Now this waterfall um, die you can use not only for Christmas, of course. This would be also perfect for Easter, especially now everybody's, you know, 
it's a pandemic, you have, you may not able to visit your relatives or your loved one, and then to um, put your pictures and your family, your grandkids, your, 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 your daughter, your, you know, anybody who you love from your house, of course, Merry Christmas, from our house to yours, I think this would be not only a nice Christmas card, but also it would be a good ornament on the Christmas tree. Okay, so that's it, folks. And then if you would like to make a comment and tell me if you like that, that would be awesome. I am going to create a blank one and um, I will send you one. I'm going to draw a name. You do have to make a comment under YouTube, not under our Facebook group, okay? So everything is going to be on one spot instead of me looking at all over the all over the place. Um, you need to have a YouTube uh, account. That's the only way you can comment on the videos okay uh thank you so much for watching and you have a wonderful day bye